Okay, I am, hopefully you can hear me. I am going to be praying and prophesying as the Lord leads. I'm gonna do some spiritual warfare prayers and we are gonna get into the presence of the Lord and he is gonna move. And I, I hope that there's nobody mowing their lawn right next door right now because my daughter is sleeping so I can't take this inside. But you guys share this, invite some people if you were somewhere where you can sit down and um, sit down if not just continue to do what you're doing and I am gonna pray and we are gonna press in and we are gonna enter the throne room and we are going to seek the Lord with our whole heart we are gonna knock and he is gonna answer um, he is he is gonna send forth angels as we pray as we intercede God is gonna do a a powerful thing so I am ready for the Holy to manifest his presence today on this broadcast to empower us to continue forward this week uh, to overcome every power of the enemy every enemy plot we are going to dismantle every enemy plot that has uh, you know set itself against the will of God in our lives and the plans of God for our lives the enemy is no match for our prayers the enemy is no match for a child of God a blood-bought child of God who knows their authority and knows their position and stays in it and prays in it so I'm gonna pray for you guys and with you guys and you guys be praying where you are with me share this tag some people and um, somebody just texted me they will not fear they will not be moved so we just stand in the presence of God sit in the presence of God move in the presence of God drive in the presence of God we live and breathe and have our being in God we are filled with the Holy Spirit from the top of our head to the bottom of our feet and we just speak and declare I'm gonna decree I'm gonna declare I'm gonna pray we're gonna press and the power of God on the inside of us is going to be dispersed into the realms in the spirit where there is enemy forces coming against us and trying to block thwart hold back delay the blessings of the Lord in our lives and to be moved out through our lives we just speak and declare we are blessed we are highly favored highly favored blessed chosen called sanctified set apart we are holy by the blood of the lamb and we speak and declare there's no weapon that's formed against us that will prosper we just plead the blood of Jesus over this broadcast there will be no distractions nobody is gonna come on here I can't see people's comments there they are nobody's gonna come on here with any kind of distractive comments we're gonna stay focused on the Lord in this time and we are going to rise up in faith Lord God we just pray right now we ask you for your spirit we ask you for a greater measure of your spirit we ask you to bring us into that next level of glory we ask you God to send out the angelic host into the home of every person under the sound of my voice to assist them in the spiritual warfare that they have in their lap this day and this week we are not alone we are not wrestling against flesh and blood we are not wrestling against flesh and blood so you might have some people in your life that you think are standing in your way but people are not standing in our way it is the enemy it is not the people it's the enemy that is held those people captive to do their will so we right now Lord we forgive anybody in our lives anybody in the lives of our family member that's being used by the enemy God we ask that you forgive them we ask that you show them mercy Lord we ask that you reveal yourself to them we ask that you bless them to know the truth do you bless them and deliver them from the hands of the enemy so that they could be saved and there would be times of refreshing in their lives Lord and we just send forth a blessing into the lives of our enemy into the lives of the enemy camp reveal yourself to them Lord forgive them God forgive them the way that you have forgiven us we forgive them by an act of our will we will not be held back held down and our prayers will not be hindered by unforgiveness bitterness or resentment and we repent in the name of Jesus from any bitterness or resentment or unforgiveness that we have harbored in our heart towards anybody in the mighty name of Jesus 
Lord, we repent for any ways that we haven't loved like you have. We repent for our selfishness. We repent for our greed. We repent for our fear, worry, anxiety. We repent, Lord, for not keeping our eyes fixed on you. And we receive your forgiveness. We receive your forgiveness and we plead the blood of Jesus over our sins and transgressions. And so we come before your throne, Lord, with clean hands and a, and a pure conscience because our conscience has been sprinkled clean by the water, the washing of the word and the water and the blood of Jesus. He's the advocate. He's standing in the courtrooms of heaven and he is saying, hold not their sin against them because by faith we have been made righteous. And so we receive our righteousness not by faith, not because of works, because nobody can boast. So we just get that out of the way because we're going to pray some things. We're going to believe for some things. So if you have some sin that's causing you to feel unworthy, get it dealt with. Receive the worthiness of Jesus. Receive the, the purity of Jesus. You have his spirit living on the inside of you. He has chosen you. We are his vessels. We are his vessels. He's not going to make a temple out of an unclean thing. When he moves in, he makes it clean. He makes it holy. He, we are holy because he is holy. We are righteous in his sight. Lord, we just plead the blood of Jesus over our past, over our present, over our future. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, he is not holding our sins against us. Okay, so we just got that out of the way. So we just come boldly. To the throne of grace to receive the help that we need in our time of trouble we come boldly through the throne of grace lord we know what you have spoken to us god we know what you have promised us in the word we know what you promised us you said we are the head and not the tail you said no weapon formed against us will prosper you said we can lend and we will not borrow lord you have spoken these things over us and we decree and declare them to be true in our lives experientially this day. And we break, smash, crash, and destroy every lie, every reality that doesn't line up with the truth of your word and the truth of your promises. Do you not know that you are my son? You are my daughter. Whatever you ask in my name, I will do for you, says the Spirit of God. Ask and you will receive. Knock and the door will be open. Jesus, we love you. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We praise you, Father, that you've chosen us from the foundation of the world, that you have anointed us, that, that, that you have given us your spirit, that you have given us your power, that you have given us authority to operate in your power here on the earth. And so I just pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus against whatever demonic spirits are coming against you and trying to block the good things that God has for your life. If there's any witchcraft, spirits of control, spirits of manipulation coming at you through family members, coming at you through friends, coming at you through enemies, or if you're operating in control, manipulation, witchcraft, fear, we just break those curses off of you in the mighty name of Jesus because you are blessed and not cursed. You are the head and not the tail. You are free because Christ has made you free. And whom the Spirit has made free is free indeed. Whom the Lord has made free is free indeed. Any bondage in your life is a lie. Any lack in your life is a lie. And so we break those lying spirits in the mighty name of Jesus and those spirits of fear off of you in the mighty name of Jesus. Put your hope in Lord. Put your hope in Him. The Lord is doing a great transformation. It is not over. You, you know, there are people right now under the sound of my voice that they were on their way up, 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 believing the Lord, trusting in the Lord, confident in Him, seeing things starting to come together, and it all fell apart. And you got stuck. And you got stuck there. And you thought, well, my faith was in vain. My hope was in vain. <laughs> the Lord is saying, no, 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 no. 
the Lord said, do not be weary in well-doing. For in due season, you will reap a harvest if you don't faint and give up hope. It is a test. It is only a test. And for many people, the test has come through demonic warfare, through demons coming at you and gaining some control over people in your life that have affected you in a negative way. And the Lord is saying, do not fear. Do not be afraid. Your prayers are powerful. Pray and break that stuff off. Break that stuff off. You have the power. We bind every demonic spirit in the mighty name of Jesus that is trying to block the God-ordained relationships, the God-ordained alignments that are trying to keep doors locked that the Lord has said open. Whatever is standing in the way of God's perfect will manifesting in our lives, we call it destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord laughs at the wicked. He knows their day is coming. The, 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 the people that are not in alignment with God, we pray, God, get them into alignment for their own, for their own good. Get them into alignment. And if they will not align, remove and replace. And Lord, we trust you and your sovereignty in that. There is not a devil in hell or a person on earth that can block the will of God from manifesting through our lives, can, can, can keep us from manifesting His glory through the work that He created, good works He created in advance for us to do. The Lord is sovereign over everything. The Lord is sovereign over everything. When He speaks, nobody can stand against Him. And He's using these times to teach us to do spiritual things warfare he's teaching us to understand we are not victims we are more than conquerors more than conquerors through jesus more than conquerors he's saying i want you to pray i want you to ask me to do the part that you can't do but i want you to come against the demonic forces that are trying to destroy what i have called forth in your life the seeds that i the the, the spirit of abortion over this neighborhood uh, and I say neighborhood, Lord God, I break it off this neighborhood in the mighty name of Jesus off of this country and even within the church, what the Lord has put in you, carry it. It might hurt. It, it might cost you. You might lose friends. You might go through dark nights. You might go through painful situations. But where else do you have to go? Carry what the Lord has placed inside of you to completion. And the Lord is going to enable you to do it. And right now, I ask the Lord to give you a double portion of grace for this season to go forward and launch what the Lord has put in your heart. In the mighty name of Jesus, the grace of God, the grace of God. I have partners staying with me right now. And I showed them, I told them about a trail. They went walking on a trail today. And they came across a creek. And they, said, they showed a video of a snake swimming through this creek. Never seen a snake. And they said there was a little girl there. I, I think it was an angel. And there was a little girl there, and her name was Grace. And she said, I saw their mom, the mom snake, and I put, I stepped on the head of the mom snake. She said she didn't kill it, but she stepped on it. And Jesus, in, in, the, in Genesis, when satan took adam down through the temptation he said that there was he was sending the son of a woman the seed of a woman to to smash the head of the snake under his heel and the spirit of god the spirit of jesus lives in us and satan is under our feet and it's by the grace of god that we keep him under our feet not by our own merit so nobody can boast so we just press into the grace of god we ask for the grace of god i don't care how bad your heart is broken i don't care how desperate your situation is or what is going on with you that doesn't make sense or where you think there's no way this what god has spoken to me could come to pass it's impossible it is impossible with man but what is impossible with man is possible with god all things are possible with god all things are possible with god 
God always, always, always puts impossible things into our hearts because he doesn't want us to do it on our own. As some of what we go through, we have to be broken down so that we don't think we can carry the weight of it. Yes, he will put more on us than we can bear. He will put more in us than we can accomplish on our own because he wants us to walk by his grace and by his spirit not by power let's say not by might or by power but by my spirit says the lord of hosts the spirit of god lives inside of you you have got to rise up and speak the word of god and be completely confident that the he who began a good work in you is faithful to complete it if he put it in your heart, of course he is going to able, enable you to do it. And will the enemy try to stop you? Yes. And so we just come against those blocking spirits and say, you got to go out of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Release the provision. Any demonic spirit that is holding back the provision that we need to complete and fulfill the plan of God for our lives. This week, this month, this year, 2020 is a double portion blessing. And 2020, by the time the fall rolls around, we are believing God that he is going to bring increase. And many, many times, right after the cutback, right after the pruning, comes the greater amount of fruit. And if you get pruned back and you don't understand what just happened, you are going to miss the greater thing that God has prepared you for. Because you lean into the grace of God like never before. And so we just call from the north, the south, the east, and the west provision. And the north, the south, the east, and the west. Anything that the Lord has our name on to complete the good works that he's created for us to do. We say, Satan, take your hand off of it. Take your hand off of it. Lord, send the angels into the abundant harvest. Harvest of souls. Harvest of help. Alignments. Open the eyes of our hearts, Lord. Open the ears that we can hear you and say, this is the way walk in it. I pray against the spirit of confusion off of your mind that's keeping you from making decisions. There's some people who need to make a decision and the spirit of confusion has got you going back and forth. And a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let not him think he will receive anything from the Lord. So Satan's trying to keep you confused and double-minded. So I bind the spirit of confusion and say it has to leave your mind right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, you have the mind of Christ. You have clear thinking. You have confident thinking. I I, I say the spirit of boldness over you in the mighty name of Jesus to make decisions, spirit-led decisions in confident that you can hear from the Lord. And then you walk by faith and not by sight. You don't look at how the decision, decision that you made Im immediately looks. Because you can make a decision and bam, immediately your faith is tested. You are in it for the long haul. We are in it for the long haul. Continue to walk by faith. Peter got out of the boat. He took a couple steps, but he started to look at the waves and he fell. There's some water walking people in this day and age <laughs> that when they hear Jesus say, it's me, come on, they're getting out of the boat and they're walking on the water. And there's other people who need to, need to see what is in you to encourage them to get out of the boat and walk on the water. I just, I cancel every word curse off of your life. Every word curse that would try to hinder you in your mind from comprehending and understanding your royal position in Christ. Every word curse that's been spoken out of your mouth or the mouth of somebody else over you, whether you heard it or not, I call it null and void. I cancel it. It's fallen to the ground. It has no power over you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, those word curses are powerless over you. From this day forward, we call them dead at the roots. No longer bearing any fruit in your life. I pray that you would speak the word of God with confidence. That you would speak the will of God with confidence. That you would not complain. That you would not lament 
what has been lost but that you would allow those things to be fertilizer on the ground for this season of harvest that is ahead in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus even over this country and what's going on and the fear and the confusion let the world let the world spin we pray God that you would just move in the church and that you would move through us I have a quick verse I want to read over you this is the year of the Lord's favor and we know Jesus read this but I'm just gonna read it over you the spirit and you guys read this speak it declare it over yourself because the spirit of the Lord lives in you the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to build, bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, beauty for ashes over you in the mighty name of Jesus the oil of joy instead of mourning over you in the mighty name of Jesus the garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair in the mighty name of Jesus you will be called an oak of righteousness a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor Ooh, Jesus God is gonna use you to build up the ancient ruins that means doesn't matter how cursed the family you came out of is how much bondage they refuse to get free from the Lord is saying the curse stops with you the curse stops with your family and they will rebuild the ancient ruins you will rebuild the ancient ruins you will be the one in your family to make a difference to change the bloodline to put the blood of Jesus across your bloodline and say the curse stops here there won't be insanity in my children's lives. There won't be insanity in my children's children. No poverty. You will restore the places long devastated. You will renew the ruined cities that have been devastated for generations. If you're in a city that is being devastated and ruined, get out there and walk and claim the territory for the Lord. You stand you know make sure that you understand your authority <laughs> before you start going out there and like claiming territories make sure that you're walking in uh, you know freedom in your own life but my get get together with some other Christians and get out there and walk through the cities and claim them for the Lord because you have the authority to do that strangers will shepherd your flocks foreigners will work your fields and vineyards and you will be called priests of the Lord you will be named ministers of our God you will feed on the wealth of nations and in the riches you will boast and this is the 2020 prophetic verse instead of your shame you will receive a double portion and instead of disgrace you will rejoice in your inheritance and so you will inherit a double portion in your land and everlasting joy will be yours I saw a vision of Ecclesia last night of a big massive gold nugget like huge coming up out of America and it was like in the east between the New York and Florida I don't know if the location of where it came out is important and I was praying into this and I believe what I saw was this gold nugget coming out and it was it was God it was the hand of God that was bringing this gold nugget out and the media didn't want to it was the media like people were trying to film around it but it was so big they couldn't not see it and I just prophesy over this country that the economy is going to come back so strong and so powerful and the, the media is not going to want to even report it because they want to tell bad news they want destruction there's demonic forces that are behind the bad news and behind the whole I'm not even getting into all that the media is not going to be able to look around what God is doing you know I've thought what's next we have you know the coronavirus then we have these riots like what is Satan gonna do next and that was kind of in the prayer like Lord block it and I think what God is gonna do is he's gonna he's it's his time when God 
God sends certain things, he allows them for a certain period of time, and then he'll say, this, this far and no further. This far and no further. Yes, there's going to be all kinds of things happen between now and the end of this world as it is. All kinds of bad things. But God, when he is ready to move, nothing can stop him. And I'm saying right now, and I'm just telling you, if you have some money in your savings account, you need to buy some stock. You need to ask the Lord for wisdom because it's, especially today, it's down, down, down. It's going up. Might not happen tomorrow, but it's going to go back up. This kind of opportunity doesn't happen that much. I don't care what they're reporting. It's going back up. And God can use this time to bring increase for those who have ears to hear. And that's just a... That's a little nugget. You can take it or leave it. <laughs> but Lord God, we just bless you. We thank you, Lord, that what the enemy meant for our harm, that you intend for our good. Lord, you are righteous. You are holy. And even in times of famine, you will prosper your people. We call the wealth of the wicked into the home of the righteous, Lord. We pray that nothing would hinder your kingdom from moving forward. This is a time to sow. This is a time to sow. When, in times of fear, in times of famine, do not fear, do not dread, do not fear what they fear, do not dread what they dread. Keep your eyes fixed on the Lord because He is. This is a launch season. I've been prophesying this. It is time to launch. We had the the launch into outer space right at Pentecost. On Pentecost, they postponed it and it, it launched out, landed at 10 o'clock on Pentecost Sunday. I did a um, go back and watch that prophetic word on the launch. He's launching the church out. He's saying, go out into the world and share the gospel. There's a huge harvest. I mean, the, the, the people that are most open to receive the truth are those who are confused, those who are hurting, those who are going through stuff. And we have a whole new crop of people. Whoop. I just spilt water. <laughs> we have a whole new crop of people, a whole new crop of people that weren't confused, that weren't ripe, that are now and so go out go out into all the world and all the nations and see lord sit here i am send me tell me where to go tell me where to sow i'm gonna i'm gonna speak that for a while you know you're wondering why you're not hearing from the lord you're wondering why you're not um ha having righteousness peace and joy flowing in your life you got to ask where do you want me to sow lord where do you want me to go and then when he tells you where to sow and where to go so go when you do those things, if you don't do those things, don't expect to hear any more details about anything else. Those are just basics. Where do I sow and where do I go? That has everything to do with our fruitfulness. Only go where he tells you to go. Only do what he tells you to do. Sow where he says to sow. Sow how much he says to sow. Sow when he says to sow. Do not hold back. Don't let fear. Don't let greed. Do not let... Uh, the enemy block you anymore it's not these people out there many many times we think it's the devil and sometimes it is and we we bind up the devil in the mighty name of jesus and every demonic spirit that would try to hinder us from moving forward into all of the good things that god has for us but lord we also look inward and say whatever is in me that is blocking you and your spirit from having access to everything about me we surrender afresh and anew, Lord, and we want God. We trust that you are good. We trust in your goodness. We trust in your goodness. You're not out to get us. You are not out to get us. You are a good father. He didn't even spare his own son. How much more is he also going to give us all things? A lot of people are afraid to surrender to God because what is he going to tell me to do? What's he going to tell me to give? And we don't. It's like... He wants to blow our mind. A seed planted in the ground has to die and then it can bear fruit. You got to get your seed in the ground. You got to let it die. You got to get your life in the ground. You got to let it die so it can bear fruit. We're just a seed. Everything we are hasn't even been, we haven't even scratched the surface of it. I mean, and then ultimately these bodies are going to be planted in seed. Our DNA is just a code. These bodies are going to die. We're going to have a resurrected body, and there we'll have glorified bodies. But we can be, we can walk in the glory right here and now in our spirit, because we pass from darkness to light. We pass from death to life. We've been given a new life. We've been given a purpose. 
and we have a call we have a um, there's mantles that's fallen on every believer in this world you were born for such a time as this God has good plan for your life God wants you to go and bear fruit fruit that will last fruit that will last he he you know it's 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 not a prosper there this is a book about prospering you will prosper even as your soul prospers not I'm not just talking financial whatever it is that you need to do the will of God with excellence God will provide everything that is needed emotional support the grace of God wisdom and understanding direction instruction he will bring correction he will he, he's such a good God the favor of God is going before you and opening doors that no man can shut when you set about to do the will of your father you your hands will heal you might have to pray for a hundred people 200 people before anybody gets healed sometimes you got to sew for a long time before you start seeing people say oh, that doesn't work I prayed for three people nobody got healed you know I've I, I tied for two months and nothing really turned around you know I sowed that seed one time you know it doesn't work like that you have to be like look at the hard-working farmer the Bible says look at the hard-working farmer he just knows if he plows the land if he sows the seed if he waits for the rain in season the the crops will come I love you guys you're just catching on just getting on let me just pray one more time the blood of Jesus over your mind over your will over your emotions the power of God to just engulf you the fire of God to just fall on you where you feel the presence of God so strongly that you know that you know that you know that he is with you that he loves you that he has grace for whatever it is that he is calling you to do will be there you do not have to be afraid don't try to project into the future you know how am I gonna handle this how am I gonna handle that God's grace is for this day tomorrow you trust in the future grace of God it'll be there tomorrow whatever you have been called to do whatever you have to go through the grace of God will meet you along the way you just need to get in the presence of God today and stay there and receive the grace of God to do whatever he's calling you to do for this portion the Bible says don't worry about tomorrow today has enough trouble of its own tomorrow will worry about itself just don't even worry about tomorrow God's meeting our needs today give us this day Jesus prayed our daily bread whatever it is that you need this day God will provide it for you some of you are fear and lack because you are thinking about a future need and believing that it won't be met in the future you have an inheritance in the Lord you have an inheritance as a saint where you can pray and remind the Lord of his word that this is what I need today meet this need today and Lord use me to meet the needs of other people Lord use me to meet the needs he will multiply whatever you put in his hand he will meet your needs exceed your expectation and use you to meet the needs of other people he's given good gifts words of knowledge I pray that each and every one of you would prophesy that you would have such divine wisdom that everywhere you go people would talk to you and they'd be like where are you how what what kind of counseling class did you take <laughs> where did you hear this how did you figure this out you know how did you how did you see how did you learn to see things this way you have the mind of Christ you have eyes that see ears that hear a heart that longs to do his will speak that over yourself believe that over yourself claim the Lord goes before you making your path straight he is strengthening your ankles that they won't turn and ruin you he's your rear guard there are angels sent to surround you as a royalty like there are you know depending on what your assignment is you are given angels every one of us have angels assigned to our lives and different angels will be assigned for different purposes and different times so God has you covered it's like the secret service 
He will give his angels charge over you to keep you in all of your ways. There are angels with us. Ask for eyes to see. Ask for a glimpse. Ask for a for your eyes to be open. I mean, how many of you have sensed evil around you and demons around you? Angels. There's more angels than demons. Begin to say, Lord, help me to sense and and exercise my spiritual eyes and my and and have that prophetic seer anointing where I can see that you are protecting me and not just see the problem and see I don't know what the solution is we don't have to always know the solution to the problem we know the one who knows we have access to him he is our papa he is our God he is our father he will give you exactly what you need when you begin to expect and I'm not talking uh, just expect the Lord expect his goodness expect his favor expect his blessing expect that he wants to meet your needs expect that he wants to use you to meet other people's needs just have an expectation throw off those dirty rags of poverty mindset that you know beats yourself up all the time and doesn't believe that God is gonna come through for you now or in the future because a lot of times that is just faith for the wrong thing happening and you get what you believe so why not use your faith to believe God for good things and when things don't go your way let your faith rise up even higher and say I don't even understand this God no telling how God is gonna work this out for my good but it's gonna be amazing it's he's I mean I, I had something hit me this week that I was like I could have went either way with it you know I thought I was just fixing you know like you know, it was a curveball. And I was like, you know what? God said it. He will make it happen in his perfect time. I will fast. I will pray. Sometimes you got to fast and pray. You know, make sure that I am battling any demons that would try to hinder. Because it's a big thing that is to move kingdom purposes forward through this ministry. I just see bright shining people full of light with visual spiritual sight that recognizes by the grace of God Satan is under our feet lack is under our feet despondency is under our feet fear is under our feet we're not worried we're not worried we're not confused we're not sitting there looking at the news we're not sitting there listening to the bad news thinking about how things could go wrong we don't even have time for that we're the people of God we are royalty. Royalty is different. You don't that we don't study royalty a lot or see royalty a lot in this country, but I mean, like study kingdoms because we are part of the kingdom of God and when you want to study kingdoms and see how they operate, see how they work, we're set apart people. We are set apart people. We're not of this world. We're not of this kingdom. We aren't part of the world. We live and operate in a different realm it is a parallel realm it is the kingdom of God it is within us it is a real place it doesn't operate in worldly principles you guys believe this you believe it we have access to the throne room of God we have access to talk to the creator of the heaven and the earth the one who knows every person by name, who has counted the hair on everybody's head. Just imagine how magnificent and awesome. And I mean, awesome's used for lots of things, but God is awesome. He is above and beyond what we could even begin to wrap our mind around and comprehend his power. And we worry about the dumbest stuff. We have access to him through his son, Jesus, and he loves us. perfectly he loves us perfectly he has our best not just our best but he has a a plan that he is working that doesn't just include us individually we are but a part of the whole and we are part of the body of Christ and I'm just seeing a vision right now it's a powerful vision that's feeling the whole earth the body of Christ we are unified God is removing all the things within us that would keep us from walking as a unified body underneath the control 
of Jesus, who is the head of the body, and we are coming together, and we are living in a time and age like never before. It's giving me chills to think about it, where the body of Christ can come together throughout the earth because of the internet. He's unifying the body, and we're a force to be reckoned with. I don't care about... The, the Satan is, is puny spider under our feet. He cannot block and stop what God is doing through his people on the earth. That does... Uh, there is a harvest. And yes, many will choose not, will not choose God. Many will not choose like There will be people who die in their sin, and it's a sad horrible thing but there are hundreds of thousands of millions of people that are right for the picking and we're part of bringing in that harvest and it's happening now and it's moving forward now and God is accelerating and dealing with all of our little stuff that the enemy is just he's no authority over us he has no authority over us and so we got to stand together and go forward in faith, trusting in the Lord with all of our heart, not leaning on our own understanding, acknowledge Him in all our ways. He's directing our steps. I pray unity. I pray divine connections. I pray that you find a local body that you get connected. And God's going to do powerful things. The Spirit of God is falling on the church. You will prophesy. You will heal. You will provide. You will be used to distribute healing you will feed spiritually and physically you will be used to feed other people who are hungry every single one of us every single one of us until there's not one hungry believer there's not one village without water there's not one child without arms to hold them because it shouldn't be. It should not be. There's no reason for there to be a need in the body of Christ that isn't met by the body of Christ. And God is raising up people and it's time. It's happening. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So God's just expanded some people's vision opened up some understanding of how they're just the part of the whole and that of course God is going to get them into place and remove whatever obstacle that stands between them and, and their full function in the body of Christ. Of course he's going to do it. God bless you guys. Love you.